Hey, good evening YouTube. wanted to show you my hybrid solution that I came up with for this uh, dimmable filament LED lamp in this pendant fixture. And what I came up with is just using the on-off toggle on the lamp and I've got the bulb dimmed through the home automation dimmer to about 25% brightness and that gives me just enough light to light up this front area of my hallway here. So there you can see there's just a bit of illumination. It's slightly more than a night light, which I used to have a night light plugged in to the outlet down there. So I have just a little more light than, than the night light used to put out. But this gives me enough light to uh, find your way back in the house when you come home at night because this is front entrance hallway when you come in the front door so this way you can if you're carrying a bag of groceries or have coats to put away you can find your way around and find the light switch if you need a little more light that 25 percent brightness makes a really nice light level it's it's not too bright and it's not too dim and I really like the, uh, the light pattern it throws on the wall. And if you look up at the top, the, uh, the cord for the light actually runs out and around the wall and it plugs in actually on the back side of this wall. That way I don't have to run any cords down this exposed part of the wall to uh, plug the light in. I could plug the, the light in down here in that outlet where the night light is and then run a cord up but that'd be kind of unsightly so what I did was I set up the dimmer that's running the bulb to come on at 25 percent brightness and so I set up a timer or a schedule as they call it in the Vera home automation system so I have a schedule that turns that dimmer on just after sunset and then it turns the dimmer off around midnight and what that allows me to do is any time at night that's going to be the only time I'll want that light on I can uh, just turn the switch and I get 25 percent dimmer output and then the two side benefits of that is if I forget to turn this light off well it'll turn off 99 percent of the way and just leave the faint glow of the dimmer load sense current that I showed you in the previous video the other neat thing is if I decide to go out for the evening or maybe I'm going to be gone for a couple of days and I want a security light all I have to do is turn this light on and now I've got a light that comes on a little after sunset and it goes off about midnight and makes it look like there's somebody at home. Yeah, so just to show you what I set up here to control the light dimmer that I added, I go here to the Vera control screen and you go down to scenes. And so these are my user created scenes. And so what I did was here's the living room and I have two scenes. I have one to turn the pendant light on and then I have another scene pendant light off. We could take a look at for instance pendant light on. The idea is every day 30 minutes after sunset and the action is immediately turn the dimmer on to 25 percent and we'll go back to the scene list we could look at the turn the light off. I basically say every day at midnight turn the Evolve dimmer off. Yeah, just to show you there's options when you have a home automation system. It might not be obvious when you start. You think, oh, I'm going to plug the light in and the dimmer will control it perfectly and I'm done. And, and then you find out the dimmer and the light don't quite work perfectly together, but you can make it work with a little bit of uh, schedule programming and then using your uh, light switch to turn the light physically on and off. And then this just controls uh, when the dimmer is on and off. 
So yeah, I just wanted to pass that on. You can check out my other home automation videos. If you have any questions, put that in the comments section below. And as always, thanks for watching.